We have heard it time and time again. IoT will change the world. But have we seen the most groundbreaking, innovative IoT designs yet? I don't think so. I think IoT has miles to go before it will truly change the world. But what is holding us back? How can you kickstart your IoT dream design? With a single command line and a little help from a new USB modem. That's out. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In the Internet of Things design community, there is a growing need for a smart connectivity system that helps both makers and enterprises get to market quickly. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Jin Kim from TE Connectivity and I explore TE's Lembus LTE GNSS USB modem. We examine how this USB modem with its integrated GPS, single board computer compatibility, and built-in cellular connectivity can jumpstart your next IoT design. We also explore the ease of use of this USB modem and the magical meaning behind its name. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. Hi, Jen. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Amelia. It's a great honor to be in the Chalk Talk video. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so we're talking about the Lembus LTE GNSS USB modem today. But Jen, before we get started... What kind of benefits does this modem bring to the table? So this product, it's really the easiest solution to take any product into the market. Really, the four main features of this product is that it's plug and play. And the installation process at the beginning, it's just one command line, meaning you just have to add a terminal interface, which most engineers are familiar with. Most engineers that have experience using uh, single board computers and Linux operating systems are familiar with the terminal interface. And on that terminal interface, you just have to enter one command line. It installs all dependency packages. You don't need to worry about anything else that needs to be pre-installed before you get the communications working. The other benefit is that it has integrated GPS and USB mass storage device, meaning when you plug it in, it will automatically detect where you are. And it'll give you your coordinates. You can use this coordinates however you want in a custom application to give you like a good visual. And the USB mass storage side, it really just works as a USB flash drive. So kind of gives you that convenience of carrying kind of like this other device in which you can store files or whatever you need to do for your project. The third benefit is that it's compatible with various single board computers that is powered by an ARM processor. So if it has an ARM processor and it's running a Linux operating system, uh, more specifically Debian or Ubuntu, it should work as intended. That wide compatibility with many standard single board computers out there today brings a lot of benefits. And last but not least, we have the data plan side integrated very easily for the user in that it has a built-in SIM card so the user will not have to worry about which carrier this is compatible with, you know, what is the APN of that? It's all pre-packaged. It's really intended for the end user to just plug it in, just follow a short instructions manual that's included with the package and get online, basically. And also the fact that this is end device RF certified. When it's an end device RF certified, you know, the end customer does not have to worry about certifying the device to go to market. So it really brings that shortened time to market for the customers. That makes sense. Now, Jen, I would imagine that this kind of modem would be a great fit for IoT applications. Yes, it's actually exactly for IoT applications. The intention is to finally kickstart the activities around IoT. What we've seen so far for the past 10 years, we were always talking about the hype of IoT and how IoT will change the world. But for the past 10 years, the activity around IoT, the development around IoT, hasn't really, I would say, reached its peak point. You know, So 
it's still at a conservative level. Most companies, I don't think, are aware of the obstacles in developing an IoT product or engaging in an IoT project. It kind of becomes this uncertain area that most companies and people are, are conservative about. And so we haven't really seen that expected amount of activity with this technology and the industry. And so to really kickstart that, to really make it easy for any customers to play around with cellular IoT technology with integrated GPS. This is where the Lembus USB modem will play very nicely. And as you can see here, it just kind of illustrates the possibilities of the Lembus USB modem. You combine a single board computer that is running on an ARM processor and has a Linux operating system. By plugging the Lembus USB modem into the single board computer, you can really create just about any IoT device. That's basically what it's illustrating here. So this is definitely not limited to just these examples here. Definitely more, whatever you can think of, really. It really opens the door for IoT applications. Very cool. Now, Jin, what's all included in this USB modem? So in this product package, we really have three main components. We have a hardware software and data plan. So those are the three main components of this product. On the hardware side, we have the modem itself. We have the USB-A to USB-C cable assembly to really make it easy to connect it to just about any single board computers out there. And it has an instructions manual out of the box. Our product also has the software portion, you know, as part of the product package in that it has a one command line initial installation command to really make it easy for the end user to get it up and running. The third part of the product is the data plan side. And really, I mean, a lot of times this data plan side could get very tricky. A lot of the products out there already typically don't have a built-in SIM. It's really for the end user to kind of know or educate themselves on what that product is compatible with when it comes to network and carriers. But in this case, we really made it easy for the end user so that they really have that plug and play experience. So as you can see here, you have different data plan options per month. It is powered by Pod Group, who is our data plan partner. And through all of these three components coming together, it really achieves the goal of bringing that user friendliness that most customers would probably be looking for. Fantastic. Now, Jen, what kind of specifications are we looking at here? This product, it's running on a Cat4 LTE. It's high-speed internet, more specifically the downlink speed of 150 megabits per second, uplink speed of 50 megabits per second. So, you know, you can stream videos. It's not really limited to low data transfer rate. You know, it's made so that it really opens the door to any type of IoT application that a user can think of. So that's why it's Cat4. The cellular bands that it supports is band 2, band 4, and band 12. It's mainly AT&T bands and the GPS bands of L1 and L2. The temperature rating of this device, it's from 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit when it's operating. And for storage, it's negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's end-device certified, so it has all three of the major certifications that it's required to be considered end-device certified, PTCRB, FCC, and AT&T certified. The environmental compliance that it has, it has Rojas, Reach, and the California Prop 65. The mass storage capacity of the USB flash drive side of it, it is 16 gigabytes. So it's a pretty good amount of space for people to use it as the USB flash drive if they need to, to bring that extra convenience. The standard single board computers that the Lembus USB modem is compatible with are the Raspberry Pi, Odroid XU4, Odroid N2, Asus Tinkerboard, and NVIDIA Jetson Nano. But it's not really limited to that. As long as it has an ARM processor and it's running a Linux, Debian, or Ubuntu, then it should be working as intended. Just to kind of, I guess, elaborate on that, we do see here, as long as it is an ARM processor, and as you can see, it, it supports both 32-bit and 64-bit ARM processor, the operating system should be Debian or Ubuntu. The data plan provider, as, you know, as I've already said, it's Pod Group. For right now, it is 
working only in the US. We do have in the roadmap a global version that will launch very soon. Really, you can take this device anywhere and it'll connect to the network of that region. But for right now, our initial product is US only, so you can only use it in the US. So, Jen, what was the overall motivation to create this USB modem? Really, it was to enable high-speed internet and GPS tracking for an IoT project wherever you are. That was the first design philosophy. Second, we wanted to bring a simple experience, something that was plug and play, kind of like how you would plug in a USB mouse to a computer and it just works. Nowadays, you don't have to worry about any of those drivers or extra things that you need to install with the CD-ROM, right? You just connect it and your USB mouse would work. Another example would be kind of like back then when you had to plug in an antenna to the back of the TV to get your TV working, you really just had to plug it in, you know, adjust the antenna a little bit. And if you receive signal, then your TV would show. That was kind of the experience that we had in mind when designing this product. Really for IoT projects, we really believe that something like that was needed at this point to really get it kickstarted. The other factor was to make sure that the users can easily integrate with single board computers that are standard in today's market. They have a platform to get something up and running, right? It can't just be this device and and nobody knows where it's going to get plugged into. You know, it needs to have something that people are already familiar with. It just makes it that much easier to get something started. And really, the whole philosophy was just to make it easy to integrate and then eventually take it to market with a very shortened time to market so that you don't spend too much money or too much time in development. That makes sense. Now, what kind of design requirements are we looking at here? It is really just two main requirements. To design in this device, if you have a board, that is powered by an ARM processor, both 32-bit or 64-bit, and it's using a Linux operating system, more specifically Debian or Ubuntu, then the Lembus USB modem is designed to work. So those two requirements, if it meets, then you can basically assume that the Lembus USB modem can be integrated. So, Jin, if my audience is considering using this kind of modem for their next design, what kind of questions should they keep in mind? The questions that they should keep in mind are mainly which single board computers are they utilizing for their project? What type of CPU chipset architecture? You know, so as mentioned before, is it an ARM processor? Is it something that's not an ARM processor? Also, what type of operating system is your board running on? Is it a Linux or is it a non-Linux or is it some other operating system that you're using from somewhere? And what is their estimation for data usage on a monthly basis? And will GNSS connectivity be required for their project? And last but not least, would RF end device certification benefit their project? You know, an end user with an IoT product or IoT idea, you know, and if they are looking to integrate the Lembus USB modem, it would help if they can kind of think about these questions. And depending on their answers here, then they'll be able to tell whether Lembus would be the right solution for them. Fantastic. Now, this seems like a kind of solution that would be a great fit for enterprise markets and makers alike. Would you agree, Jen? Yes, definitely. In the enterprise space, especially small to medium size, the volume is small. If it's not in the millions, you know, or if it's not in the high hundreds of thousands, and typically right now the IoT opportunities to be in sort of the smaller volume, you know, in the thousands or in the low 10,000s. So with that in mind, it's not very easy for the small to medium-sized enterprises to go to market with an IoT product, right? Typically, they're going to need to invest in a lot of RF experts. They're going to need to invest in the whole certification cycle. They're going to need to invest in data plant partnership. So if they are planning on maybe launching up to about 10,000 products, you know, something like the Lembus USB modem will work greatly for them because all they need to do is just focus on their part of the project and leave the network side to the Lembus to T connectivity. Also, for makerspace, it it works really well, right? In that most makers are building their projects using a standard single board computer in the market today. And then the most popular one is the Raspberry Pi. 
something like the Lembus, it would pair really well with an IoT project they have in mind that utilizes Raspberry Pis or other standard single board computers. And really the main benefits that the Lembus brings to both of these enterprise customers and makers really is that it's easy to experiment with cellular IoT technology. You know, it's not like something where, you know, prior to this product, you need to really think this through. When you buy some type of test kit or dev kit or, or from whatever supplier, you needed to take some time to educate yourself. You needed to not only read the instructions manual that comes with the product, but probably have to go online and educate yourself on, you know, how all of this works and how all of this pairs up. And then finally, with that knowledge, you can start playing around with the cellular IoT technology. But now with Lembus, it's very easy really to integrate, right? It works as plug and play. That's one major benefit. The other benefit is that it, you can integrate this technology very quickly. The third one, again, it's short time to market. Whether enterprise or makers, you have a product in mind, probably think about going to market with it. You know, the Lembus can really kickstart that very easily for mainly these two types of customers. So, Jen, I am very curious because I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Does this USB modem get its name from Lord of the Rings? Yes, it does. And, and really, I think this is definitely the most exciting part in that the name Lembus takes its name after the Elvish bread from the Lord of the Rings. The purpose was to give that same image of what the bread Lembus is in that the bread was a gift from Galadriel to the Fellowship of the Ring at Lothlorien, right? And it kept them going on their journey and eventually got them to achieve their goal of destroying the ring at Mordor. In that similar sense, we wanted this Lembus USP modem to also be a gift to the people to finally get going and achieving their goal for an IoT project that they have in mind, really. We wanted it to be a gift of ubiquitous internet access and location tracking a gift that gets one going on their IoT development journey, really. It really breaks that barrier, that fear factor into the unknown. Now, it's pretty familiar in that it works similarly to other devices that we use today, you know, kind of like the USB mouse, kind of like the TV antenna. It's also a gift that helps one to achieve the goal of successfully completing an IoT project and going to market. That was kind of the idea behind the name. We wanted this product to be a gift of easy solution to an IoT project. At the bottom of the slide, you know, I, I added that little funny statement, right? I mean, this one does not simply is, is a popular meme online now. One does not simply launch a cellular IoT product. And what the Lembus does is that it finally breaks that barrier and gets the user to go on their IoT development journey and complete their goal of creating an IoT product, um, similar to how the fellowship, right? I mean, at first, Boromir had this doubt that, you know, you can't just simply walk into Mordor. But with the Lembus bread, the fellowship, despite all the obstacles, right, they were able to go in there and achieve the impossible. So kind of with that in mind, right, we really hope that it can achieve a lot of the visions that many people and enterprises uh, might have with regards to IoT. Fantastic. Well, Jen, I think that's all I have time for today. And we ended on such a great note. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it right across the top or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.